Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and hopefully this one helps you out a ton. This is a cave in which you can get eight. Yes, I said that correctly. Eight cave loot drops that are yellow or red. So basically the highest tier loot drops that you can get and there's eight of them inside this cave over on Fjordor. This is the best cave by far. Cords, just so you can see the entrance point, will always be in the up left corner of my screen at 9.984. And this will show you how to get into the cave. So this is, a, I mean, I usually use a shadow main. That is one of the best tames you can use here. I always have a pocket giga ready for a few points and I'll talk about those um, before we get there. And I'll, I'll kind of just show you how to do this entire thing. Super easy to run once you learn the scheme behind it. And it's a lot of fun actually as well. Pretty, pretty difficult as well. So hopefully you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel if this kind of content is helping you out it would help a ton literally i if i had 10 percent of the people that watch my video subscribe i would have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and that would be freaking awesome so hopefully you don't mind smacking that button too it would be awesome so anyways basically all you're going to do this cave is a giant circle there are lots of deadly things this is the first corner where you're going to run into a lot of bugs i just killed them when i ran through this um, but you're going to run into a lot of bugs here, so be careful. Back up with a shadow main or whatever your cave dino is and walk slowly. You can also use a giga for pretty much the entire cave um, past this like little skeleton right here. Once you get past the skeleton, pop out the giganotosaurus and it gets much wider, so you can see that right there. And you can pretty much run the entire cave safely with a giganotosaurus. Now, everything is going to be over max level in here, so that's why you want to go nice and slow. You can see that even one bite from one of these things is a uh, not going to kill him, and that's 500 damage. Uh, you can see 350 55. They are all cave creatures. Um, you can get Arthropleuras, uh, Titan Boas, all kinds of stuff in here. So that's why a Giga can be very useful when going through this. You're going to go through this, through the whole water part right here, until you get the split pathway option. So you can see there's a lot of creatures starting to show up right here. Now this is what I do. I usually attack and back up. You can see that the water also gives that boost for the, uh, the guy that I'm on right now. Shadow main. And uh, so there's two pathways. I always take the left pathway, but clear a little bit on the right. So when I'm escaping this cave, I don't have to worry about some of the shenanigans. Uh, and that helps a ton. So you can see we're going ahead. Come on, put this thing down. There we go. So you can see pretty easy to kill these things with a good shadow main or a decent tame like a Rex would do just fine. Um, and then you're going to get down to the next room. So basically at that turn at that turn point, go left. And uh, once you go down this pathway, you're going to go down until you hit the water. Now in the water, and we are almost there. You're going to notice we are at a point where we can get to three, I guess technically three, uh, separate artifacts, points, not artifacts, but uh, what are they called? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, four, technically. I just forgot about the fourth one. Uh, loot drops. You see one right here, one over there, one over there, and one up there. So any of these ledges can actually technically spawn one of these. Um, so you want to be pretty aware of that. So these are all pretty good interior loot drops. So you can see that right there. For some reason, you take pretty heavy damage in this room. So be careful about that because just by jumping from there to there, I actually had like my character could not handle that. Uh, so that was really frustrating. Um, so there's two and then three over on this ledge. They are all loot level K like so like the loot good loot drops. So you're not going to get anything bad out of these. They are pretty good. So this is like pretty epic for a decent like cave to find anything that you need. So and that wasn't apparently close enough. So we're going to go ahead and drop down. So you can if you haven't forgotten this instead of dropping all the way down. What you do is you kind of like slowly uh, drop yourself down with this uh, option right here. Uh, using the right click and that's a good way to do it but you can see the fourth one's way up there now there's a couple different ways you can do this um, i like to go a little bit off the ground and then bring yourself back down and you'll kind of like coast your way to the ground now there's also once you have gotten to this point you have the four in this room and then you go ahead and move up to this next level now this is where it gets a little bit difficult because you do have to be a little bit careful um, i did not mean to throw that out go back in your ball uh, you got to go up now up is the only way so that room is kind of like your first entry point right there right uh, so once you go up you're going to end up and on this point and then you're going to have to go through this little hidey hole right over here now when you get to this point you can kind of just drop in safely just by hit, uh, hooking the upper wall now in this little section you're going to drop down i usually again you're taking increased damage here so be careful about that um, and then drop right on down. Now, there are no dinos that I've seen spawn up until this point. In here, there will be thylas and stuff like that, so be careful about that. Have your pocket giga ready to go. This is the room where you can get the Artifact of the Strong as well, by the way. So Artifact of the Strong is also here in this cave, and you can see the uh, at this point right here, another loot crate, pretty freaking cool. 
Uh, where's the next one? And there's one right up there. And we're going to go up to it. And there's another one. So this is a red one, just so you can see it right there. Of course, it's got crap loot in it. But, uh, you know, that's that's ARC for you. You do all this hard work, and they're like, hey, you know, we'll reward you with a lot of very valuable things, right? Um, so anyway, so there's two, and then you can go up to this upper corner. You can see me heading towards it right there. There's three, and there's another one over there. So technically, there's nine in this cave. Nine freaking loot drops. And then Artifact of the Strong, obviously. You cannot freaking complain. So I like loot. I don't know if you do, but I do. So that's kind of, you know, why I like going into these caves, because you get some crazy, crazy loot out of them. Now the other one's over on the far side. Again, grapple just above the ground. Save yourself a lot of time because you will die if you fall too quickly. Artifact of the Strong, make sure you pick that bad boy up. And uh, again, there's another one over there. Now there is one more uh, area that you can get a loot crate from. And that is through the backside. So if we would have gone, if you remember where I told you that point where you could have gone left or right, you can actually go to that point. And once you get to that point, uh, there is a single loot crate past the honey cave in there. You can see this like upper wall up here. Uh, and you can go in there. So there is a drop right here. Be careful. And you can drop the entire way down. There's also some very dangerous stuff in here. So be careful about that. And uh, you can see there's another loot crate right there. Now, if you would have gone, this is basically the other pathway. You can see it right there. Pretty good. I don't know why, but I always seem to get better loot from the yellow crates than I do the red crates in this area. And everything up high is safe, but down low, do not drop into the water. You will get destroyed. It won't even be close. And uh, that's kind of how that one works. So uh, there we go. So you can see this is the crossover of the water just by using your grappling hooks. And then go to this far side over here. Now, this can be very dangerous, so be careful about this one. Because there are spiders in here, and spiders can kill you. So, aggro them off the edge. That's the easy solution. Now, if you bring your shotgun, however, you can use that to destroy these things, because they, most of them can't fit underneath. And uh, you can kind of just crawl through this. And you can see lots of bugs, so be careful about that. But there's that honey cave that I was talking about. And that is how you run this cave. Now, you can either go right back out, which is a good suggestion, because you'd have to essentially throw out your uh, Shadow Man really quickly in order to survive this. And you can just run past all this, in all honesty. Um, you can, but you can see there's a lot of stuff in here, so you want to be careful. If you don't, if you mess up like I just did right there, you could lose everything, because there's a lot of damage to be offset in here. But if you're, you know, on a good Shadow Man, you'll probably be just fine, and kind of just back up so you have that knockback. And so you can see how much stuff that I'm just like slaughtering as we back up here. And that back, back step will save you a lot of trouble. So anyways, that's pretty much how you run this cave. I don't like going this way. You can see why, because this is just pure chaos right now. And uh, my Shadow Man's not very happy with me right now. Because he's, yeah, he's just not happy with me. How much health does that one freaking have? My goodness. Alright, so you can basically jump over all these and... Uh, now that we've killed the majority of them and run right out this backside. Now you can see tons of bugs. So again, I'm just avoiding because that the number of stuff there is just not fun for me to face. Um, you can see that by avoiding that, you can kind of just like fight a couple at the end. And that's what I like to do. And then we're right at that point where we have that little change up where we went left instead of right there. So you just go left and uh, then you're, you're done. Or if you go back out this cave, just go uphill. That's kind of the general rule of thumb. Once you finish getting all of your drops, go uphill and then you kind of get through the entire cave. You should have been able to kill everything beforehand and you end up at the front gate without much of a problem. A couple of dire bears will spawn in here. Nothing too major though. You'll be able to quickly shred them as long as you have a half decent tame. And you have yourself a really nice little run because you just got a ton of loot. Nine. Yes, that was right. Nine. And the artifact of the strong. Pretty freaking awesome. So hopefully this video helps you out. So guys, if you don't mind, if you look below, there is actually a couple of links. If you want to join me on my server cluster, there is a link to Discord, and that Discord link will take you to my server cluster. There is also a link for a 5% off code at G Portal. If you click the G Portal link below, it'll take you and give you 5% off any number of servers that you want, which is pretty useful. I love G Portal. That's the one that I use for my cluster. Never had a problem with them. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. Teach out.